Commerce has created a new COVID-19 vaccination campaign. It's called Time to Vaccinate, and it aims to provide resources and information employees can use to encourage their workforce to get vaccinated as soon as it is their turn. Chamber of Commerce President and CEO Jerry Sanders joins us now with more on that campaign. Mr. Sanders, top of the morning to you, sir. Good morning, Paul. How are you, you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Let's talk about time to vaccinate it. And your, from your perspective, the business community has a big role in getting business open, does it not? Well, it does. And that's the reason we uh, have set up the time to vaccinate uh, campaign. Uh, we're sending it out to all businesses and asking them to be supportive of their employees being vaccinated. And there's lots of ways to do that. So uh, we provide uh, different ideas to do it. And then give them a lot of information that helps them run their business, but also encourages their employees to get vaccinated. Well, give me an example of, of that encouragement. Well, the encouragement is uh, to give them time off uh, to go get vaccinated, uh, to give them the flexibility during working hours to do that if they can't give them the time off, uh, to provide incentives. A lot of companies are providing incentives to uh, employees who do get vaccinated, whether it's a gift card or uh, it's recognition, uh, whether it's a, a few hours off, a lot of things like that. And all of those things help out because employees want to be encouraged. They want to know that their business cares about them. And business plays a critical role in making sure we're all safe and vaccinated. Uh, do you feel, it, it, now we're, it just seems like we're now out in the bookends of this. It seemed like the, our, our world changed drastically last St. Patrick's Day. And now it feels like maybe we're taking our first big steps back to normal. Do, uh, do you get that feeling amongst the people you rub shoulders with? Well, I, I think everybody was anxious to get out of the purple tier and uh, getting out into the red tier today, I, I think gives people a sign of optimism. Uh, but, you know, vaccinations are the key. And, we, you know, we want people to realize that uh, responsible uh, behavior with wearing masks and uh, being careful is part of it. But also the vaccination part, as soon as we get up to the herd immunity, uh, areas, then then we're going to be in much better shape and can really fully reopen. And I think that's what all of us want. So how time to vaccinate this program seems like it's a great eye opening way to, you know, get everyone pulling in the same direction. How do you get the word out besides appearing on the number one morning show in America? <laughs> <laughs> we're relying on you to get the word out. We're also doing a lot of social media. Uh, we've got an op ed going into the UT, uh, but people can go to SD Chamber. Uh, dot org slash time to vaccinate uh, and businesses can get an information packet uh, that tells them about the vaccinations uh, that also tells them about uh, the legal ramifications and just about everything they need to do to set up a program. But we're also encouraging them to tell their employees to sign up with my turn uh, so that they get notified when they're eligible and then to uh, provide resources and regular uh, updates on when those people can get that and what we can do to help. Jerry, if I could ask you a broader question, businesses and individual citizens, and rightly so, I've been receiving aid, a lot of money has been poured into the system to keep people afloat, and I, no one, no one uh, looks upon that critically. But how do you wean businesses off that money, the, all the uh, government money that's coming their way? Well, because you know there's going to be that lag before places open up and are doing the business that they were doing back when they were profitable. Is that going to be a tough balancing act? Well, it, it's going to be tough in the short term. Um, you know, it's going to take businesses a while to ramp up. A lot of restaurants at 25% capacity are probably barely making ends meet. Uh, but I think as we start moving up the tiers, uh, people, there's a huge pent up demand right now for people to get out of the house and go to a restaurant or go to entertainment, uh, to go shopping, to do all of those things. And I think that uh, we'll start recovering fairly quickly. Uh, one era, area that we've been concerned about the whole time is childcare. We know a lot of women have left the workforce because they're having to take care of their children and help them with schooling. But with uh, the schools reopening you know, right away, uh, or at least in April for a lot of them, uh, we think a lot of that will uh, be sending people back into the workforce much more quickly. A, lo a lot of the small business people that I'm talking to, and I'm mostly restaurants, so uh, you know, sm they're, they're, the, the problem is they're having a hard time getting people to come back to work. Yeah. And, and I, how do you I cross that bridge? It has to do with the fact, though, that um, the childcare issues that are there, 
a lot of the employees are younger and they've got children and they're not finding uh, the schools or the childcare. Uh, another part of it is you, you've got to, you can have that crazy cycle of opening, reopening, closing, uh, and all of that. And a lot of employees are just waiting to see how this is going to go. And I think they'll get the people back at that point when they're assured of more regular work rather than uh, the yo-yo effect that we've had. Mr. Sanders, as we wrap this up, where do you want people, what website do you want to promote to get people to, to learn can more? Go to sdchamber.org slash time to vaccinate. Time to vaccinate, Mr. Jerry Sanders. Thank you ta for taking uh, time to speak with KUSI on St. Patty's Day. Hey, thank you, Paul. You bet. Up next.